Okay. <laughs> this We're is here. the Journals of Awakening. Freaking here welcome. With another podcast. I'm Ben. And I'm Randy. <laughs> I just flicked myself in the eye so hard. <laughs> I'm glad that's live. This is it's perfect timing. You know why? Live. Because we're going to talk about the human brain. What, really? Yeah. On drugs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys remember those videos? The commercials? Your brain on drugs. So I'm going to educate you a little. And this is the frontal bone, okay? Yeah, I can read. So it, sometimes I don't know. <laughs> so, Let me try to read this word. Get out of here. Temporal. So inside the frontal lobe, oh, I'm confused. The frontal bone is the frontal lobe. And now you said temporal, and maybe like I'm ear? wrong. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> ear lobe? It's the part of your brain that looks like an ear. Can you imagine? Are you listening to me? To me? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? So, the frontal court, the frontal uh, pretext, or something like that. Uh -huh. I know, I sound so stupid. No, that's okay, I love it. The frontal cortex. Or whatever. The dumber the better, am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. I look like a high person. Okay. I so, look like a person that's high. <laughs> so funny. So in in inside here is the frontal cortex, which doesn't finish developing until you're like twenty nine or thirty. How do you know that? I can't see in there. Um, because I watch a lot of TikTok videos. Oh, you're talking life. I'm educated. Education. Yeah. Education. So it doesn't finish forming until you're like 29 or 30. Unironically, because of, you know, our belief system. Okay. That is also when you experience your... Sorry about that plane. Which is so odd. <laughs> we don't get planes. Getting crop dusted right now. That's what so, that is. Oh my God, it's so <laughs> controversial. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it doesn't finish forming until you're 29 or 30, which unironically is when your Saturn return is. Your Saturn return is when Saturn enters its own sign or whatever sign your Saturn's in, minus in Taurus. Okay. So when Saturn comes back around into Taurus, that is when you experience pretty much the hardest shift of your life. Oh. It's something I have, like, that's, terrifying anxiety that's over. That's fairly accurate. Yeah, no, I know. For my life. Anyway, I know. Yeah. So, but that's the thing is, you met me when you were twenty eight. You know, maybe you're just all of a sudden were into young people and <laughs> had to find me. What's gonna happen when I'm twenty nine? You know, I don't know. I'll need a new nineteen year old. <laughs> just kidding. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's gonna happen when you're twenty nine? You're talking spiritually. Yeah. Like or you just... think your awakening is gonna be fucking bizarre? Like, your third eye is going to literally blink? No. No, I'm talking about, like, life choices. Like, oh. what if I just tell you that we have to travel? Like, that's yeah. what You're like, like, I can't live like, in what one if, place. Like, what if that's when I decide to be a truck driver? You uh, know? Okay. It's like, is, am I going to know what I want to do with my life? Know who I am immediately when I hit, like, 29 well, or 30? Hear me out. When you're 29 or whatever, you could do your truck driving. Because I'll be Mr. Beast. I'll be out there. I'm going to be busy. Roads. I'm going to be hitting countries. What about Connor? Oh, he'll be wrong. If not, they uh, will have a robot. He'll be nine. <laughs> <laughs> Get your robots making. We need a complete father and mother. Oh, my God. Made into one robot. You know, I, Just would, kidding. I would take Connor truck driving with me. But you have to I don't get trust through, my like, you, you have to get through, like, the... Uh, probationary period you know yeah well around here too it's, it's a little dangerous we're by the border i feel like the wrong people i'm not gonna little... truck drive here <laughs> okay truck driving is an across the country type ordeal well you go to another country you just gotta go like 25 miles or something what you can go right into mexico boom no what are you talking international about international truck driving no I don't want to do that. Eh? I want to know the United eh? States. It's where I was born. Obviously, I should know about that before I go branch off. About the what? The United States. What is that? <laughs> Just kidding. Straight face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Quit playing with my skill. So like anyway. Like Shakespearean So you know how they're like, you shouldn't like smoke weed until your brain is fully formed, but your brain doesn't actually fully form until you're like 30? Mine's fine. Well, that's good. Um... <laughs> My sister didn't start smoking cigarettes until she was 30, and now she doesn't smoke them anymore. Like, she went through, like, a cigarette smoking phase. 
Yeah, well, I quit too. No, no, I'm saying it didn't start until she was 30. Oh. Until after her brain was fully formed. That's interesting. Isn't that interesting? Pick up cigarettes at 30? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. No, because it's just, see, and that, that's your thing. So you're thinking of life as this, of this staircase, right? Yeah, like get the hard shit done and then move through no. life. No, <laughs> instead of thinking as life as one line, it never changes. Just because you're getting older doesn't mean anything about anything has to change. You know, you're 50 and you decide to pick up smoking cigarettes just for the fun of it. No, I get it. Okay, I get it. That yeah, you never drink in your life and all of a sudden at 60, you're like, I'm going to have a shot. You know, I get it. That's fine. You know yeah. what? I'm going to do this every Thursday. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you become a drunk. Yeah, right? just all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, because they, they have this idea that we're supposed to grow up into something. You know, right. we're supposed to use all this knowledge we've accumulated in our younger And become an old wise person. Exactly. <laughs> Instead of just living your inner child life for the rest of your life. You know, I go to trampoline parks and I still do flips. Oh my God, no, no. It, you know, Last time I went to trampoline park, I ripped my pants. Well, that's true. And by sitting, I didn't even get on the trampoline. <laughs> it was by sitting. They're old jeans. I still wear them. I sewed them. Mm -hmm. I am saying. But it sucked. You're so afraid of your inner child. That's Dude, not what I'm saying. He's a scary but... kid. <laughs> Pop your eyes, little BB gun kind of guy. <laughs> ben doesn't do a lot of things because he thinks he's too old. And I think that's just... It's just body-wise, man. No. I treated my body horribly. I ate like crap. I smoked cigarettes. I, I did drank, sports you know. for like the first 20% yeah. of my life. Which means your body is like built for this kind of shit. And mine's like... Potato, I gotta be on the couch. Okay, <laughs> I can see that, but still, my back is really messed up because I never got it fixed. Yeah, you know, no, I, I can see that, but like, you look at retired professional athletes, they're still in better shape <laughs> than I'll ever okay, be. Okay, <laughs> but then don't think of it as childhood, you know? Like, you can still get your body into that shape, you know? Yeah, we were just talking about this with yeah, Channing Tatum. It's not. <laughs> Because he's all fucking built now. And he's like 41. Like what? 42. And now he's just ripped and shit. Like what the hell? Like I remember he's Magic Mike. Been, yeah. No, Magic Mike. But he had like a boy bod. He was skinny. You know? He just looked like a... He was like 30. Yeah, but he still looked like a boy. I don't know. Whatever he did, congratulations. But it looks like a lot of work. It's it, But it doesn't have to be. They're like famous and have time to take the time out of the day and like work out like that. Or maybe it's just steroids. I don't think so. You're like, no, that'd be too... No, not my Channing. <laughs> no. You'd be able to tell, like, <coughs> ang like anger-wise and stuff, you know? Nah, he's still a really a... goofy, funny He's funny, guy. yeah, that's true. He's really funny. If you're putting drugs into your body, you can't pull that out. You think you know? so? Yeah, I do think You so. think if I was on steroids that I would just be really mean all the time? That would be really scary. <laughs> That's scary, right? I'd probably move out, honestly. <laughs> Done. <laughs> no steroids for me. <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I got a lot of testosterone, I guess. So I don't need steroids. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Ben needs his cortisol now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need somebody to, like, move my arms with a weight in it. But then... for real, I just think that... <laughs> You know, whether your brain fully forms or not, life is just life is just life. You <laughs> life know? Just you're life. always going. Just I was just also talking to Jamie because like you're always going through changes. And, you know, women go through menopause when they're 50. It's like a second puberty. Right. You know, how men is that go any different? Men crisis. No, men, well, men also go through monthly emotional cycles, you know. What? Yours revolve around the full moon. You can't tell me. Crossing my true. arms now. But yeah, mine is a full moon thing. Is that every month? Yeah, it's once it is? a month. Yeah. Oh yeah, every full moon I'm fucking like a werewolf. But that's like just how your dude. emotional <laughs> hormone cycle. I think it's short on it. Out, really? Yeah, remember I went out and I, you're like, look at the sky. That explains everything. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, I went outside. I was like, okay, you see the moon, guys. <laughs> I am in a bad mood. <laughs> yeah, I give it and two it more days. Um. But yeah, so our bodies are always changing. So why is there this pressure to become something eventually? Like... What is that? Anyway. What did you do? I thought you were going to poke me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing. Just had to get something off my chest. You'll see it later. Okay. I love you. 
Oh my god. <laughs> he was probably a dick. <clears throat> um, totally. Were you not? Or no. I was <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> about as <laughs> dicky as I get. <laughs> um. So anyway, my big question: Why? Why do we have to become somebody to be something? We don't. We just need to become comfortable. Why are we not? We are. I okay. Think. For the most part, I think we are. Yeah. I, I, we have our issues with kids and shit, you know, because. Yeah. So why are you trying to be Mr. Beast? Why am I? That's a great question. That is a really great question. Literally, so you can be easier, you can you can relax a little more, and so I'm oh, fine. and so like. <laughs> When it comes to like needing to go see the kids four hours away, that we have the capability. But we we're gonna. Get... I don't want to be Mr. Beast. I don't want to be. I don't want to be famous. I just want to be able to be comfortable. I just want to be comfortable, which I am. But I think that. But we, are you? I think we deserve a nicer car. Okay, so okay? it's okay to say you're not comfortable. It's okay to. I decide... think that we deserve a nicer car. Okay. Is that too much to ask? That's not too much to ask. But no. there's people out there with no car. Yeah. So it's like. At what point? Well, that that's when you it... stop comparing your life to others. Exactly. Okay? At this what is your point? struggle. Who cares what other people are going through? I compare myself a lot. That's the problem, I guess. I compare myself a lot too. Right? Like I just want to make it. Do you really? But, like, so haven't I? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm wondering. So I'm a father. I always you talk know, to like... you about this and other people, uh -huh. but I compare myself a lot, which is why I get off social media ninety percent of the time. Yeah. It's because I get to an unhealthy level of comparison. And I start to just mm. kind of feel, kind of think about what I'm missing. Right. But when you stop the comparison, you stop feeling uncomfortable. Because really, why are you uncomfortable? You know, we're not the only people who are cold right now. It's, it's yeah, the exactly. winter. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. At You're not going to be warm right now. It's That's what I, I, I understand that, that it's never going to be enough. That's what, If yeah. it's not enough now, it never will be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, it's... That's just, you it know, like, be... I want trim on the floor. There's no trim in our house, guys. It's oh, just... Okay, but those just... are... For my my comfort. I'm here all day. I wanted to, you know, I wish my office chair wasn't in this house when we moved in. <laughs> <laughs> I want an office chair. Don't I deserve an okay. office chair? Maybe a computer so, so I can do this shit a little better. I more <laughs> compare myself when it comes to achievements and what I haven't done with my life. Oh, no. Psh. I couldn't so, care less. So, uh, really, you know... College dropout? That's all I think about, is what I haven't done with my life that uh, other people are doing with theirs. No. And I ask myself that all the time. Not, like, literally ask myself, but yeah, no, that's my thought process. But that's a totally different way of thinking. Yeah, and I you're want like, comfort I want a nice house. And I'm like... No! Oh, I didn't oh. say a nice house. I just want to, like, you know, I want to seal the windows so the heat doesn't leak out as bad. You know, yeah, I want to just... I don't know. Maybe get some new seats in the car. I don't need a new car. The car's pretty good. Get some new seats and well, put some money into the engine. I know you said that, but it's such an old car. I feel like that's just jinxing everything. I don't know. But what if it's not? But see, the whole the whole problem here, the whole what if and why not is because we don't have the resources. Yeah. We can't just say, well, you know what? Let's just fix it because that could be a total disaster for us. You know what I mean? That could, and then the car's worse off, you know, and it's like, ah, shit. But what could you do that with Now we're out of money. We can't When it was at 186,000 miles, we replaced the water pump. We did, but not the seals. But that's okay. The seals didn't start going bad until three years later. Yeah. Four years later. And that's my theory, anyway. I think it's the seals and the water pump. It's, it's something. But, but, yeah. When you get the But the tranny got low, too. Remember, the tranny's got a leak somewhere. Oh, yeah. We don't know what the problem is. It's just, it's an old right. car. Okay. You know, it's yeah. just, it's time. But One of the I'm doors just... is bolted shut. I'm so afraid. <laughs> I just want to be comfortable. And I'm so afraid that if we buy a car, it's worse off than what we've got. We so that's what happened in the last, what, car. three situations? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's why so we can't like, get a shitty car. You know, what's decent. the definition of insanity? Why not put money into this bitch? <laughs> because one of the doors is bolted shut and the other one says so it's open the all the time. <laughs> says it's open. Fix the sensor, you know? It's just, yeah. It's all about... It's letting it go too far. Yeah, it's all about how you feel about the car. Changing your focus. I did you do clearly, a lot of work to that car already. Yeah, but you yeah. clearly don't think it's worth it enough to make tiny changes. I and, don't. But I do. <laughs> she, she loves Coraline. That's Coraline, our 
Yeah, we Our didn't cam get that. Coraline the Camry. That yeah. was just the Camry. <laughs> yeah, it's the Camry. <laughs> but I like the Camry. I love the Camry. Oh, that's just why we decided to get a new Camry. That's attachment okay. issues. Oh, See? yeah, that's right. So that, that we yeah, have a attachment plan, guys. issues. And I always forget that plan, though. Yeah. When I think about getting a new car, I think of all the cars that we could fail on. But really, yeah. we get a new Camry and we're kind of Similar sad. year. We can go all the way up to 2001, right? Yeah. And it'll be interchangeable parts. Like, wouldn't that be sick? <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be really handy. We're in a small town in the like, middle of nowhere. Like, there's no way so. both of the seals are bad, you know? Like, it's like... Right. It's a Camry. Hopefully. Yeah. No, Camrys go, man. Yeah. Anyway, that was a weird hole. No, I know, but the hole was, you know, comparing yourself and stuff. Yeah. I... No, I just want to be comfortable. There are and certain... And you want... Okay. To just stay in this lifestyle, like... I want to be comfortable with myself. See, we're on two different paths, want, but yeah. that's okay. I think our paths are going to collide, and they're going to make a beautiful, well, they happy ending. Do. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's happy what I ending. feel because <laughs> although we did have a wonderful child, yeah, I do three. What? Oh, I did say do. You said did. Okay. <laughs> and although, you're holding a skeleton, so I'm a little <laughs> triggered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, although we did have a wonderful baby, you know, like we yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Baby. Okay, that's fair. So, he used to be a baby. Yeah. Yeah. He was like almost two before we started like waking up. Yeah. And I feel like I deprived his baby self of my woke self. Well he's better off but than everybody. Still else. I feel like I know. But still, I feel like there's more I could do. But that's, see, I feel like I'm supposed to be mom, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's my goal is to fix the trauma and help these kids. But I feel so unsure of myself most of the time that I just think about what I haven't given them, <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah, and, and, and I, I can see that because I, I find myself focusing on myself too much. And it's hard to instead of yeah yeah you to can, be teach them what I already know instead I'm still trying to fix myself you know what I mean yeah. so I'm trying to find a balance you well know you I mean? just have to get out of the way just get out of the way uh, move out <laughs> just do what my dad did <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> just fucking leave no I'm just kidding I'm totally kidding but um, oh that's you're my kidding because you brought it up first yeah I just uh get out of my way and let me. <laughs> Let me take care of all the emotional shit until you fix your shit, because, you know. Oh, is that what you were saying? Yeah. <laughs> there was no subliminal message. No, there. She's just straight up saying, get the fuck out of my way. Let because we have <laughs> one child that I can't handle when he has tantrums, but you can control it, you know, and he's still very emotionally secure, and he's four. Okay, I was, like, trying to figure out which one. <laughs> and then Got we have four. this other child who's already been, like, out of his mind, acting out his whole life to where it's more like he needs to remember that, you know, he's not all of those behaviors, you know? He's got to come back. He's got to ground gotta himself. got to ground himself, yeah. No, and he's uh, a lot like his mother. He just doesn't pay attention to simple life details. No, yeah, but a lot like his mother, and that's the only, that's where it stops. Right. You know, he is so emotionally in tune with things. That's true. I told you what, I, what he told me. I, t I asked him. I shouldn't have, but I asked him. I said, did Rainey tell you to come say that to me? Oh, you yeah. You remember that? Yeah. You remember? He said, sorry, Dad, for giving you the silent treatment while crying. Dude, I started crying. Nobody, nobody knew he was giving him the silent treatment. Uh, yeah, I was like... <laughs> But, what? <laughs> but for him to that be was so, so uh, self-aware yeah. like that. That was so deep. I was like, damn, you felt like you gave me the silent treatment? Yeah. <laughs> he ate. Beautiful. So, oh uh, yeah, we'll He's end this soul. We'll end this podcast with me saying, there's nothing I want more than to have that child in this house. <laughs> like, I genuinely feel like somebody took my kid away from me. He was being so responsive about his emotions. Yeah, he was and really starting to open up with about me. it. I yep. was really trying to get to his level. Because we accept feelings in his house. Spend the time with him. Encourage the he, things he loves. I'm comfortable like, being vulnerable. That's what it is, you know? And we encourage mm -hmm. the things he yep. loves. That's I'm not really going to call you a bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know that's how I was raised, but I'm not going to do it, you know? I just think that, well, it's deeper than that, you know? This is a boy that loves Fortnite, and then he just realized that he likes to read. 
you yeah. know? And, uh, but I love both those things. <laughs> so I'm like, oh uh, yeah. yeah, I'm like, why don't you read to me? And you read to me like three times and he's yeah. a little loud, but that's okay. <laughs> like I said, he's a lot like his mom. Yeah, <laughs> you know? just in behavioral She was raised things. in a loud house, you know, that's just how it was. And then Jason's on this independence path where yeah. he likes where he lives because it's pretty, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a beautiful he, new he runs by yeah. vibes. And he, this is a good vibe when he's at school and all of this other. That's thing. right. He's popular at school down there. Yeah. So he's. Not, he had really good reasons for not. He's wanting, not you know, thinking like, about his okay. home life, and I, I think want... that's okay because obviously he finds enough joy outside of his. Exactly. I just house. want him to make the decision for himself. Yeah. You know, like he seems like he's happy. comfortable outside yeah. of his house. He's comfortable on Roblox and at school and a youth club or whatever he does, going to work. You know. Yeah. Although when he gets home, kind of sucks for him. He doesn't picture it that way. He's extroverted. He's just waiting until the next time he gets out. Yeah. But the other one, all he cares about is home. All he cares about is the people who love him and the people he loves. And home is where he's comfortable. Yeah, he comes home and he's like, oh, the dogs, the cats. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> for example, if there's... He's so much like his papa. It yeah. just drives me crazy. He's so much like him. Yeah. Yeah. But he's so much like you, too. You know, he, he doesn't like when his clothes are dirty. That's just what keeps getting handed to him. So he comes here and he's clean. I'm like, let's take a shower. Every day. And he's like, I took one yesterday. What? Like, yeah. Every night, bro. Oh, that's my favorite. But I took one yesterday. But I yeah. think he likes it. You know, I give him a toothbrush and I watch him brush his teeth. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, no, I was sitting here with Connor. Here's the toothbrush. Watch this video. <laughs> it's the Blippi toothbrushing song. It's not the best tutorial, but it's, it's catchy. It's great, and it'll keep your kids brushing their teeth for at least a couple years. That's why I sit in front of them <laughs> with the with the phone, and he wants to learn to brush his teeth, yeah. so he wants to be clean. And you know? at the end, we go ba ba ba. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be good. It's it's so good, but all Connor talks about is I want someone to play with. So, so good. We're, it's a stagnant period of rest, I feel like, because... Stagnant. Yeah. From now until May-ish, this will be kind of the last period of alone time, like, the three of us that I ever want, because it's not enough for me. Well, it's not enough. One child. Uh oh <laughs> yeah. It's so boring. Got me in so much predicaments. No, no, no. I'm talking about Landon. No, I know. Yeah. I know I... what you're talking about. But last time you said that, I got you a kitten. Yeah. No, no, no. I got enough animals. <laughs> I, know, I'm I just kidding. want my kid back. You know? I get it. I'd like them both, but one of them doesn't have interest, so I'm like, do your thing. We love you, Jason and Landon, very much. Yeah. And on, and that, on that note, note we thank you. <laughs> Peace.